Hi everybody, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator, and I've been working in the industry for about 15 years. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw stitches for Halloween. So, if you have Dracula here and he's out, hard night on the town, he gets in a fight with a couple of werewolves, he's probably going to need some stitches because he probably is going to get a claw to the face. Because werewolves have claws, and they'll claw you to the face. The drop of a hat. So, um, again, let's talk about simple shapes. Because we always want to keep simple shapes in mind. Now, stitches are real easy. Your basic stitches uh, are essentially a straight line, okay? And then you just draw a bunch of perpendicular lines. Now, you want to try and keep them, um, yeah, relatively evenly spaced. But then you have to think about, well, that's uh, all fine and good. But Dracula's probably not going to go to the hospital, so he's probably not going to have it done by a machine. So his stitches, okay, if, if, if a doctor did this, then this is kind of how it would look. It'd be a little straight line, maybe there'd be a little gap here, but since Dracula's just kind of going back to, uh, you know, a couple of the, the people that he's already made into a vampire, I'm going to say that his stitches are a little bit more open in some areas, so maybe it's a couple of straight lines that are, you know, a little wavy, so they're like kind of wavy lines. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back to, to our old standby, which is the circle, okay? Now, if you're, if you're using a needle and thread, then you're... you're your holes in your face are going to be pretty tiny. It's going to be kind of like that. A little tiny little like that. But since Dracula, not going to a doctor, who knows what they're sticking in his face in order to cover up his wounds. So we're going to do a couple different, uh, you know, it's okay, just different sizes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of on the outside here. And I'm just doing this larger here so you can see it. I'm about to do it on Dracula's face. But, uh, you know, I would even just go across and draw a bunch of different size circles because you don't know, I mean, who are, he could have Igor, right, the hunchback, doing his stitches, in which case, you know, Igor might actually miss him. So we got a, all the, uh, the thread tying through here, and we're going to do one across, because you, you'll pull one, and then the string will go across, and you'll, you'll do another. And then we're going to do one across, and we're just going to go in like a little end pattern. We're going to make a bunch of ends for these stitches. So there are a couple of different kinds. Uh, of stitches that you can make and maybe Igor messed it up and so there's one right here because he's Igor, he's crazy. So, we'll go back to Dracula's face and he's got Igor doing his stitches so there's a kind of a gap there and we're going to do a couple of holes here and this is going to do a couple of things for us. This will give us a target when we're drawing our ends and it'll also make it a little more realistic. So here you go. Remember, we're just drawing the letter N over and over and over because thread is really thin and you can even curve it a little bit you don't have to go perfectly straight you can give it a little curve because uh, if you have a scar some of this skin is going to be like if you're looking at the surface of the skin you know here's here's the cut in your skin right so it's going to be raised up a little from your regular skin because it's going to be all swollen so this is actually going to be tying across here thread will go underneath it's probably way too scientific for you uh, here you go and so since it's claw marks, he's got a couple. I'm just going to put dots in kind of random order because maybe at this point uh, the candles went out and Igor had no idea what he was doing. And then one other little, little kind of claw mark right there that gets two or three stitches. And that's all there is to it. And now he's got a bunch of stitches keeping his face together from that fight with the werewolves. So there you go. That's all there is to drawing stitches for Halloween. We'll see you next time.